All right, final burning. Uh, it took a lot longer today than what I actually anticipated. I probably had more time in it today than I uh, did creating the big hole to begin with. It uh, The stump was much larger uh, than what I actually anticipated. I bet it was actually probably closer to 32, maybe 34 inches in diameter once you start getting down there. That's the last little bit right there. Um, there's three um, pieces in there. Um, they'll be... Uh, burnt probably in the next 20 minutes this uh thing's been going strong uh but overall it really worked i mean to kind of break it down i uh drilled some holes in it about eight to ten inches deep i think they were uh three quarter seven eighths uh wide somewhere in there and uh poured gasoline on it and that was last year and that did nothing uh, so finally, after watching some other YouTube videos, I busted out the chainsaw, made a tic-tac-toe board in there, um, threw actually a little bit of uh, oil on it just to get it let, let it soak, create a small little fire, and uh, the first day or two it didn't do a whole bunch. It made a, you know, a good-sized little pocket in there, and just from time on, you know, from that point forward, it worked really well once i busted out the shop vac it uh it did a really good job so uh anyone that's actually looking to get rid of a stump pretty economically um and fast as in you're probably gonna have to you know have um either i would say all together probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 hours in it just depending on the size clearly um like i said bust the chainsaw get super deep in there put a little bit of oil in there let that soak for like an hour lit a fire on it and the best thing i can tell you is once you get the the fire going and get it going good um where it's generating some coals and getting deep in there you know, get get it get get a shot back uh with a i recommend a, a metal pole as you can see oh uh, you probably can't see actually but there's some, definitely some holes all over my uh, uh skimming skimming pole rod for my pool that's what I used. It was a broken one they had laying in the garage. So um, it's doing a, a really good job. I'm very happy with it. And uh, I'll maybe shoot a video uh, the next day or two when I'm back, actually back out here to you can see the aftermath and the size of it and everything else. So uh, enjoy and thanks for watching.